point right on you. No, don't, not on me right away. I got it right on you there, Brian. What's up, Brian? <laughs> Why are you driving my, my Jeep here? What the hell? I don't know. What's going on? Yeah, what's, what's up with that? I mean, I thought this was my Jeep. I don't go and drive around your car. I don't let you drive my car. Yeah, so why am I letting you drive my Jeep? I don't know. You tell me. I asked you if you wanted me to drive, <laughs> and you said sure. Because you said I knew where I was going. Well, that's true. You know. I'm here every day. Yeah, pretty much. What's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah, yes. This big fat tub of goo is Brian here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he still looks like Sloth a little bit from the Goonies, but... Loaded Diaper! Yeah, we just got done seeing the movie uh, Diary of a Whoopie Kid Part 2, Roderick Rules. And we're making this video, not just because we went to go see a movie. That was just, you know, part one of our big Loaded Diaper Day, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. A Diaper Dandy Day. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've been talking about this big surprise for a little while. What, what, uh... We're finally going to reveal the surprise that we're going to be... Where, where are we going today? What, what's our purpose? TNA, baby. TNA Wrestling. For those of you who are wondering, you know, on YouTube, I know there's a lot of people that wonder what the big surprise was. It is TNA Wrestling, my first actual wrestling event. And the tickets that I was showing you guys are tickets to the wrestling event. And what makes this special, though, is not just because it's my first wrestling event, but I get to go backstage, I get to go do a, a private meet and greet with all the wrestlers who are going to be there today. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. And I, I think Don West is going to be there. So anybody who knows Don West, he, he's the one that used to be the original commentator, color commentator for TNA until he got replaced with Taz. And then uh, he does these uh, insane deals on TNA's website and all that. And I know he's talked about going to uh, TNA's live events and you know a lot, you know, make a lot of customers very happy. I mean, a lot of wrestling fans happy. The thing I like about this is, you know, a lot of the friends that I've that I've had, you know, in the past, whatever, have gone to who have gone to events like this before me. Well, they've they've had great experiences as far as you know actually going to an event, or whatever. But most of the time for them, all they were doing is they. Oh wow! What the heck? Statue Liberty? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Tell them what is it, Ghostbusters or whatever again. Uh, anyway, so no. uh... Their, their experiences have been great, you know, as far as, you know, going to, t you know, buy a ticket for a seat and say, go to an event. But I don't think their experience will match up to mine. Uh, going to chance to meet, like, Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett, Mr. Anderson, or formerly known as Mr. Kennedy, and, and whoever else. I mean, I, I looked at the, the roster of who's supposed to be there, and, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that I do know that I'm familiar with, but then there's a few that I'm not. But... What makes this special is the fact that there's the reason why I'm going is because there's a lot of wrestlers who I do know. You know, I don't really watch TNA as much as I probably should. You know, I'm more of a WWE guy. Always have been. Always will be. But you know, the thing about it is, just, it just this is a big thing, big deal to me. Just as big as it was when I went to Oregon about almost three years ago. It's one of those lifetime goals that will finally get fulfilled. But uh, we watched the movie Diary of Wimpy Kid, and Brian, what do you think about it? Oh, it was all right. It was, it was a good movie. I mean, did you did you did you learn anything from it or anything? Or that there's a band called Loaded Diaper. <laughs> and once uh, Brian found that out, he actually had a loaded diaper. So I don't know. <laughs> Brian, you haven't been on a YouTube video in a long time. You know, even Howard Rocky would probably be amazed at your Howard actually, Rocky. Yeah. He's the greatest inspiration in my life. Uh, mine too, and I never had he him for is. a teacher. I had him for a teacher. He's probably, if not the best teacher that I've ever had. I've learned a lot from him. I learned so much from Mr. Rocky. And Chris, Kyle, Harriet, Joanne. <laughs> that was my... As he throws pencils at you. Yeah, he throws you. pencils. But it was all in fun. Yeah. Rocky had fun. We had fun, and it was all... Yeah. It was all a lot of fun. So, Mr. Rocky, if you see this, I love you. Thank you for everything you did. The oh. only other thing that we got to get Frankie to now that I've been to <laughs> is a live Monday Night Raw. Yeah, see, that, that we would We got to get him to Monday Night Raw. I definitely will hopefully one day go to WWE. And event, if you've but... never been to Monday Night Raw and you're a WWE fan, you got to go. It's yeah, it's awesome. We went to the one at the Target Center. We saw Mike Tyson and... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was the greatest. That without a doubt was the best. W that was the best. 
Yeah, I remember wrestling when he was event against host for that or whatnot. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then we walked into Hooters and we saw him. <laughs> and we met him. Wow. And it was good. We met Triple H, we met Tyson, we met Cena, we met, you know, yeah. a lot of them. And we're hoping tonight that maybe we can meet a couple of guys after the event. Yeah, yeah, you know, because the thing about it, and I mentioned this before, uh, they don't allow video cameras in there. I, I was thinking about maybe sneaking it in anyway, but, but I, I don't want to take that chance because, you know, what if they take my ticket away or what if they take the camera away and I never see this camera again? Because they could do that, you know. So that's just a thing. I'm, so then you'll have a loaded diaper. Yeah, I probably will, and then I'll be crying the whole way home, and Brian will have to hold my hand and give me a hug. It's probably and say, not gonna happen. Say it's gonna be okay. Frankie yeah. will be driving on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, any hoozles. So yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot to it, I guess. But uh, so the camera will stay in the vehicle, but I'm gonna try to do what I can to. If we do see anybody, we're after the well, show. Well, if we do see anybody after the show, but we'll have the camera with us. Lo and behold, I, I did buy three disposable cameras uh, here uh, la or a couple weeks ago or whatever. <laughs> so there will be lots of pictures. I'm going to do kind of like what I did, you know, when I went to Oregon. I, I had a slideshow of everything that I, all the pictures I took. So you will see pictures, if anything. Uh, but you just never know. We don't, well, I don't know if you have Facebook on your phone or whatever, or Twitter on your phone, oh. but you. Yeah, I do. But Jeremy Borash does these tweet and greets, and I remember Micah last night, he got to meet Jeff Jarrett. So, and I don't know where it was at, but somewhere in Fargo, way before the event started, he got to meet him. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if we'll, we'll do that, but as far as I know, though, this is going to be a fun experience, and my, only my second time at the Lair Center. Brian's thousandth time or something. But. Yeah, I've seen a lot of concerts there. Never seen wrestling, though. So and this one's in the ballroom, so it yeah, should be kind of fun. So instead of in the maybe night. have that ECW just kind of style too. ECW, but ECW. that's what I like about TNA, though. I mean, they, they actually TNA. they actually show blood. They they don't care so much about the language, you know. WWE, I I will always love it, but it's always going to be PG. It seems like I don't know why. Well, there's Cat. One day there'll be G, but who knows? And there's my ex girlfriend Cat here. Yeah. And a one-time lover of Brian. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. no. We, we don't want to go that far. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Are you ready? <laughs> You're on camera, though. No. Yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you're not camera shy. I mean, you have a webcam anyway. <laughs> oh, are you able to get it? There you go. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that one opened or not. Cause all, yeah, that one doesn't open. My brother, he broke the front doorknob or whatever. Your brother is a doorknob. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah you better be. All right, where are we going? Well, besides insane, I don't know. I hop. That's what you say to somebody with one leg. Yeah. <laughs> where are we going to eat? Well, we're going to Five Guys Burgers, I guess. Where are we going? I, I'd... We can go to Burger King tonight or wherever you want to Where's there. Five Guys? Over by Golden Corral. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're going to go to the Golden Corral and our Five Guys Burgers. And you guys can go there. I'm going to the Corral. I'm going to eat. I'm going to pig out. I got a built-in air conditioner in my unit. Do you? Wow. Yep. What, Brad's? <laughs> Brad's blowing? Or <laughs> in her Open unit. She said in her unit, so I wasn't sure she what she was talking about. She said unit, that's cool. I wasn't sure what she was talking about. She was there. talking about her big unit. Uh, anyway, we'll be back. Hey, what's up, guys? Frank Slauson here. I think you, can, you probably can't see me that well, but but uh, I'm sure you can hear me anyway. I want to say, uh, say a special thanks to you know everybody who... Uh, was asking about, or who was wondering anyway about what I was doing, and, you know what, uh, you know about this event here that we're having. You know, now that uh, I dropped Brian off, so he's already home. But uh, I wanted to kind of give you guys my my, my thoughts, kind of on the whole whole ordeal, more or less. Uh, seeing how this was my first made, you know, first actual pro wrestling event live event that I've ever went to I've gone to a couple indie shows like I was mentioned before but 
they're nothing compared to this you know and I wish I could have brought the camera in and, and you know I think I could have snuck it in they wouldn't even notice the difference because I see a lot of people with, with cameras or whatever video cameras or cameras that have the picture thing with the that you can take a uh, picture digital picture camera and then a regular video camera included in that I could have done you know I seen people doing that so I, I wish I could have brought the end uh, you know showed you some footage of that but sadly enough I just didn't want to take that chance uh, you know I should have brought it with me but I didn't think we were allowed to bring in bags or whatever so that's why I kind of just winged it a little bit anyway but I want to just say that this experience <clears throat> my first live pro wrestling event was definitely you know great uh, it's something that I can't even explain you know words we can't even explain but, you know how how happy I am right now you know the fact that I've actually accomplished a lifetime goal this isn't just an, an, an everyday thing for me this isn't just something that I you know that I do on a daily basis this is something that I w wanted to complete a goal that I wanted to complete in my life you know for a long period of time and I will still say when you see the photos a little later because I'm not gonna upload all the photos right now just because I'm kind of broke right now and I can't afford to do that right now but I will later on this month in April and you'll get to see them uh, but this experience is definitely a lot better than I can say any of my friends have had or, or anything like that because it's something that <clears throat> I never thought was ever going to be possible. And I mean that. I really, really mean that. Because, I don't know. I just I just didn't think that, you know, somebody like me was capable enough to uh, go to something like this, you know. I know I shouldn't think that way. I should have a little bit more confidence in myself. But, I don't know. I mean, it just... Like I said, it's just one of those things that are hard to explain as far as, you know, you know, to finally say that a, a goal of mine that I have, you know, that I wanted to do for a long period of time has finally uh, happened and finally uh, came true. And, and that's, to me, the best experience of all, to be able to say that I've done it and I can't wait to go next time. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's just very, very, very cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll always do the meet and greet, depending on who's who's there, I guess. You know, a lot of this is a different lineup or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, it, it was good. And, you know, I, I want to especially thank you know, my friend Brian Minx for uh, coming with me. And I want to thank, you know, my fellow DJ, Glenn Broggett. He's the one that suggested that I, I do this in the first place. <clears throat> uh, well, my friend Michael also told me about it. But Glenn was the one that kind of encouraged me to do it because he knew that I've never done it before and because I told him it's something I've always wanted to do but never have and I also want to thank you guys and why am I thanking you guys because you guys also are my inspiration to why I did this it was not just because of other people that I know that have uh, told me to do this but you guys <clears throat> the YouTube viewers you know are the ones that uh, that made me Make, finally make that decision, that lifelong decision to finally do this. And so I, I have you guys to thank because, like I said, this is a lifetime goal that finally got achieved tonight. And, you know, I'm a little humble. I'm a little emotional because, you know, yeah, I'll admit, you know, I, I was happy and, and, you know, a few tears were shed because it's just something that just happened. You know, something that happened in my life that I never thought was possible. So, I'm going to be talking about this for a long time. This, like I said, was just as big as going to Oregon, you know, three almost three years ago. Meeting some, some celebrities, some pro wrestlers that are, you know, met Kurt Angle, Jeff Jarrett, Earl and Brian Hebner. Uh, met uh, Samoa Joe and uh, AJ, uh, see, Devon was there. And Mr. Kennedy got his autograph. I'll show you guys uh, probably soon anyway. The autograph book, if you have, haven't ever seen it. Some people have, have uh, had the chance to see it when they've gone to live events, but uh, some people haven't, so I'll show you guys that. But anyway, so I want to thank you guys, and thanks for watching, and uh, I will post those uh, photos as soon as I get them developed. 
And uh, like I said, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time for another great Frank Sausage Show adventure. Bye-bye.